Good morning, guys. Welcome to today's Look at penguin. video. <laughs> Penguin's like, let me out of here. You guys, you have a lot more room than that. You can move around. Welcome to summer. Today is going to be 11 degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. I bet you it's like 50s. All right, I'm going to open this. Hopefully, we survive. Uh oh. In there. You're I didn't try and let her out. She just runs out. Hey, like, quick, shut it. Oh, I got to get the water. They need. Ow! Jeez Louise! Dude, you want water or not? <laughs> like, what the heck? They literally filled up their water last night. Somehow, something will happen, and I guess they probably tripped it over, tipped it over, and it leaked out. They're like, I know it's summer, let me out! Sophie definitely has a thing with chickens. She has a thing with animals. So this is our, she's looked so different now. This is chicken strips, and she is, no. <laughs> that one's chicken strips! What the heck? This is penguin! This is and that's penguin. buffalo! This, get buffalo, that, buffalo and put them together. Happen, yeah. Put them together, buffalo and, and penguin. So she is so she cute. Like she pecked you. She pecked me yesterday. She doesn't peck me. She's really cute. She's a rooster. She is not. I bet you she is. Even if it is, we're keeping her. Because look. It looks like I'm afraid to touch her. She's like, I will bite you. What is I just want to pet you. Like Sophie does, but look. These look like saddle feathers. Shh, just hide those. <laughs> hide those in the back. <laughs> All along we thought she's a girl, but she's looking kind of boyish. She doesn't peck me. I know. He's really cute. She. Let's see the tail feathers. Good. No. We're not doing that. <laughs> I'm not going to break your, kill your dreams. We're keeping her anyways. I'll keep her instead of one of the red roosters. Because, because, fun fact, I'm going to have a whole different pen for bird rocks. Well, she's an Easter egg. You're not really a bird rock. So, All right, get the other one and put them close together. Look, it's a girl. Oh, it looks boyish to me, Sophie. I keep this bowl and this bucket of water in here so that if I come in in the morning and suddenly somebody has no water and I have to go to the goats and it's going to be like 20 minutes before I can get them water, then I can at least give them some temporary water until I... until I get back from the goats. So that's what I'm going to do. How sweet she is. I know. Get the other one. I want to compare them. You better be a girl. So luckily we have two penguins. Be nice. Um, this one doesn't have a name yet, so leave your So this one is way cuter. I love this be one. Nice. It, it, it's better be a girl. Better be a girl. Well, don't bother her feathers. But look at the difference. This one's more dark. Yeah, this one has more black. Here, put the feathers down so I can see. Yeah, see that one has more dark. Even penguins look at That's the beauty of this breed, the barred rock, is that nice. they can be all different patterns. Like Look at how gorgeous the pattern on this one is. Like the head is like spotted and then the back is striped. See, she doesn't peck me. She just doesn't like you. And she literally looks like an owl. She just wants to eat that baby. She looks like a penguin. She looked like a penguin when she was younger. Yeah, really cute. But anyway, just let's like go. this one. Your shoes. Chill. She's like, I'm gonna kill you if you're her and her. I mean, look at her comb though. She's big and if she was a rooster, she'd have a bigger comb. Yeah, she only has a little dangly thing. And it's still light colored. Usually by now a rooster will have a bright red comb. See, this one has a baby comb too. Yeah, so let's pray that they're both girls. You have this one. So my goal today is to try and clean up some of the yard, even though it's still full of snow. <laughs> and full of ice. But like I said, it's gonna probably be in and the fifties nice. today. You're Actually it's water. high forties. I think, it has water on it. I think oh. it's going to be 50. I think it's going to be around 50. I'm just oh, guesstimating. You're walking through a stream. Yeah, you're either walking through ice or snow or a stream. What's that? I like to set these things here so that they're ready when I go into the house. Everybody has water now, so that's good. So now when I fill when I come back, I'll fill those up. Yeah, it's like pure ice though. Like with water on it. With water on it. Cool icy water. Like every day it gets more slippery. We got all the naked ponies. Sam took all their blankets off this morning. Hey. No, I put Penny's blanket on last honey. night. Oh honey, yeah. She hates blankets? Yeah. Oh, we still have a Christmas tree. Can yeah. Use it next year? Yeah, I don't want to give them the Christmas tree until after they give birth because the kind it is, I read that too much of it could cause abortion in pregnant does, so I'm just being safe. Storm is looking a little chunky. I've never That's seen good. it be chunky before. He needs to be 
He's never been chunky before. He needs to get back to work. Gabby wants, I'm gonna tell you about Gabby in a little bit when I get back to the house. And I tell you our decision on beautiful Paris. So we had about a month of winter here on our farm and we could get more winter, but it has been a month of no pool for our ducks. So today is the day that Zoe and Lucy finally get their pool back. This is every farm girl's dream, having a little white duck in the pool. Really? This is every farm girl's dream? Having... It's, it's so cute. They are. They are so cute. Yeah, it's gonna be so woo! And woo! Okay, I'm so Yeah, me too. <laughs> Sophie is the one that to be thanked. She took all this ice out last night. That was I thought that was two nights ago. No. She took all the ice ice out, got it all ready for them. Oh. They are truly a bonded pair, except for that one's a one they're both girls. They love it. I'm gonna probably put some more water in here though because they've already splashed so much out. Apparently, all the pictures Sophie and I took yesterday were not good enough. So Sam's out here taking pictures. Don't use your phone though. Your phone takes terrible pictures. But they're not clear. <laughs> anyway, I was hoping to clean the pasture today. Obviously not the whole pasture. Oh, I love how he did that though. Put all the blankets on their stalls. Hi girl. <laughs> yeah, you forget the part where we brushed everybody, but you ju you just need a face shot anyways. Yeah, even her face is dirty. But look, she's easy to clean. Just take a brush out like, with you, like we did. Look at our mud. I want to be that person, show you our mud. It's not suck your boots off mud. It's just a little bit of mud and your foot still, like it's just a little bit of mud. Your feet still stand on top of it. That's Penny. You hear her, ah, anybody's doing anything, <laughs> ew. Sam was complaining, it was like, oh, your pictures were terrible. It's not that easy, I told him. Like you go out into the field and all the horses are just like not cooperating and then you have to pay attention to who's coming up behind you and. It's not as easy as you thought, is it? Yeah, that's okay. But even like here, see, even here where it's like, the muddiest spot is not too bad. To and it I know, I keep telling yeah, everybody. The drainage going that way. Our drainage is good. Oh, but if you have underground drainage. But when it's when it's muddy season and it's pure per, oh, pure perfect. rain. Yeah, and all around their hay bale is perfect. I've been at hay bales before where the closer you get to the hay bale, your foot sucks down to your knees almost like craziness, but it's good here. The only thing that's bad is I need to clean all the poo and it's hard to do when it's all covered in snow. So I'm gonna try, get some of it out, like usual Laura fashion. Oh, I'm gonna do some of it holes. now. The oh yeah, they just big, big, dig <laughs> holes. So I showed a picture to my friend today of Storm who looks good from the front, but from the back he looks huge. But he's not, like look at him, he's not super huge from the front. It's all about angles, guys. All about angles. But everybody's happy right now except for Gracie. Nobody's nice to Gracie. She loves him. And she 
kind of stands on her own. She kind of stands on her own. And poor Gracie only is loved by her, which is which is fine. Makes me just want to sit out here and relax Isn't with them. Yummy? We need like a chair here. Yeah, we need a chair in this paddock. Look, see, poor Gracie. Come on, Gracie, there's a whole side here, for goodness sake. Come on over here, we'll guard you. Come on. Hey, Willow, you let her eat. This is what it looks like. Sorry, I don't know whose I, it is, but. Yeah, sorry, we're sharing your stuff. But look how big that is, and they're underneath it. I love it. Is that your plan? Yeah, that's my plan, is to make this big enough. All right, come here, Gracie. It. That that's... way they can be under it and not get wet with rain. Also, if you look at our horse's feet, None of them are super muddy. Like you can tell the muddy conditions. Yeah, and I always these, say it because these feet are pretty. I've had people say how horrible we are because we have mud in our pasture. And uh, the mud in our pasture is honestly minimal compared to what can happen. But I got Gracie in the in the hay bale and then Penny left. There you go. You eat. Don't you worry about those other horses. Sam will protect you. <laughs> Thing, like one on this angle one on that angle yeah then, if you put like then they'll just be stuck in there fencing the around each side then you would get but we only have four sides but then you would you would like hey penny get away and you let her let me get over here let her eat you'd be nice I put, I put hay in there. She ate it. yeah she sam puts hay other places but horses don't want to be away from the herd they all want to be accepted and i know gracie is <laughs> a bit of a different kind of personality. I'm gonna clean up a bunch of this poop. Then I'm gonna to talk to you about Gabby's choice on the stunning, amazing Paris. Paris is such a perfect name for her. She is such a good horse in so many ways. So I'm gonna muck out and let you guys, and talk to you guys about Paris. Yeah, see, all the water is draining downhill. So back in the goat area, we're gonna have luscious green, amazing grass. Sam actually has plans to make our pasture even less muddy than it is. What is muddy? We're gonna work outside. You can come help me do the pasture. It is a Friday afternoon and it is just beautiful out here. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to get the paddock clean in one fell swoop, but I'd love to get started and by may we should be all clean and dry here in ontario canada but i wanted to tell you guys about gabby and paris so i got the opportunity to watch her ride her two times and the first time she told me that she really liked her and she thinks she is super cute but there was no connection the second ride that paris and gabby had was amazing um, you could really see that that horse is a point and shoot. You just point and that horse will go where you want it to go. She is amazing. She's a mare. She's gray. She's tiny. Gray, the only reason Gabby doesn't like gray is because they're really hard to keep clean. They're like really hard and they take a lot more maintenance. They take a lot more time to keep clean and there wasn't really a connection. Gabby didn't feel connected. And like I told you guys before, Gabby's not sure right now what she wants. She is confident that Paris is not the horse for her. And I'm blown away by it because I love that horse. I could get into that horse. Getting a horse is such a huge responsibility. It's like a huge responsibility. When Gabby gets a horse, if Gabby gets a horse, I want it to be her choice. I want it to be a horse that she says, hey, I really love this horse and I think I want to buy it. Right now, she's so happy with Storm. She loves Storm. All her love and all of her pain is mixed in with Storm. Had she and Paris really connected, I think there would have been a chance for her, but Gabby's just not there yet. She's just not ready, and I don't know when that she is gonna be ready. Maybe she'll go away to college and come back and then be like, I need a new horse. Maybe she'll never come back to like truly competing and wanting to own a horse because keeping up a horse and taking care of it and cleaning up after it is a huge undertaking. It's every day, a couple times a day. It's at least two times a day. And it's even more than that, cleaning out the stall and, and doing, there's so much maintenance when it, when it comes to horses. And Gabby has so many things on her plate that she wants to do right now. Like, Remember, she was homeschooled and now she's in school and she is loving this whole experience and she wants to, that's the route she's, that's just where she is right now. So 
for now, I'm gonna let God lead and I'm gonna let Gabby tell me what she wants, when she wants it and she's really good about that. She's a really chill person in terms of she doesn't need much in life. She tells me when she does need something. Like one thing I know for sure, Sophie wants a horse so badly and she is ready for a horse she knows what she wants to do now she knows what she wants and so we're really close to being ready to bring home a horse for sophie and what's really interesting about this story is that when chino died okay i'm just gonna see i still can't even talk about it but when chino died like the day chino died god kept showing me in our empty stall i kept every time i walked by that stall i saw a horse in there and it was a dark horse and he was wide and he wasn't super tall but he was wide and it was a boy and he was dark and it was Sophie's horse and I knew that it was Sophie's horse but he never showed me a horse for Gabby so maybe the time is not right and that's okay look at our little mama she's like are you sad Laura <laughs> hi I'm sad <laughs> What a sweet baby you are. You're lucky you're not in the barn. Sylvie's cutting <laughs> Minnie's hair again. But it's true. God has all different plans for your life. He knows better than we do. I promise Gabby I would never, ever, ever take away her horse. Storm again. Because I did it once. I made her get a new horse. And I took Storm from her. And I think she feels that loss as much as she feels the loss of Chino. She's happy with Storm. She is so happy with Storm. And what's really funny about her is that when we go to lessons and Storm's just plodding around and the other horses are all just jumping and looking gorgeous and he's just plodding around. Gabby celebrates every single step that he takes and it's like, yeah, good boy. And she sees, has as much pride for him as you would if you had this star show jumping horse. Like she just loves that horse so, so much. So, I'm just gonna let it happen. And it may be one day if another horse comes up and Gabby's at a right stage where she's ready and she says to me, hey, I really like this horse, then I will buy it for her. But for right now, we're gonna focus on Sophie's horse because I know that she definitely wants a horse and she's ready for a horse and she's got some years on her that she can spend at home taking care of her horse. She knows what she wants to do and I'm gonna be making a video really soon about the things Sophie wants to do with her horse. But yeah, it's sad. <laughs> it's sad to me that she doesn't want to give up horses. She loves riding. She loves riding on her ride night, but she doesn't want to have the responsibility of loving another horse. And because it takes a lot out of you because you're always worried about them. You're always thinking about them. You always have to be busy with them. And I don't mean just riding. I mean, she's out here every single day taking care of her horse and doing stuff with her horse that has to get done. So. That's it. That's the story of Paris, the girl that truly got away. Sophie, would you want Paris? No. Why? Gray mare. Gray mare, and she's tiny. She's just a tiny little thing. But you love a forward horse, right? Yeah. That horse never puts a foot wrong. Um, don't mind her legs. I yeah, she, she, yeah, where have you been? But don't fight her. You're next. <laughs> You're next, Willow. I You're told you to run tail, for it. And so, tail. Just a little trim for their tail. So all this cutting right now that Sophie's doing is going to make her be prepared and be ready for, like, be a... She's going to one day... I, I trimmed her ears so that they don't look ratchet. Do you know Fiona can trim? Can just stand here and trim a horse and it looks stunning? I know. She's so good at it. One day Sophie will be good at it too. I just know it because she has so much practice. Little pieces are annoying. Look at how wavy her hair is. I know, I hate it. Do you hear that, little baby? Oh, what are you looking for in a horse? Wait, thin. don't, thin. <laughs> That's a perfect example right there of how much you love your first horse. It doesn't matter if it's a good match. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter who the horse is, your first horse is the love of your life and so people never ever forget Finn but anyway we're gonna go to some Finn shows this summer and hopefully I'll get to show you guys where he's at and what he's doing uh, with his life since he moved away from us one thing I know for sure this stall is going to have a horse in it I know she's such a good pony oh the other one's here too <laughs> 
but I promise one day this stall is going to have a horse and it's going to be amazing. Okay, I cut Willow's beautiful mane. It's even. I don't care what you guys say, it's even. Look at that cute little face. And then her tail, I cut a little bit. Don't you know that you're beautiful?